What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today we're going to be reviewing something completely different. However, it is still related to filmmaking and I'm going to get to that in just a moment. I want to introduce to you to the first ever electric unicycle that I have actually ridden successfully. This thing is absolutely unreal. And not only can it get you from point A to point B extremely fast without having to deal with a ton of traffic or even parking, but it can also be used for filmmaking. And that's something I'm currently working on right now. And I'm gonna be talking more about that in just a moment. So this is an electric unicycle. It's based on the same exact type of technology that you would find in, let's say, a Juin Crane gimbal. It uses gyroscopes and accelerometers along with a battery, and it also has one wheel. Now this unicycle is powered by one powerful 800 watt electric motor. This is a brushless motor, so this is the same type of technology you're gonna find in, again, let's say a gimbal. Now I'm sure that a lot of you have been researching different types of vehicles in order to make your footage more stable, not only on gimbals, but just handheld in general. So if you're using vehicles like Segways or electric bicycles, let me tell you right now that this is something that is a lot easier to not only carry around, but operate in general. This thing will work off of your body weight. So if you lean forward, lean backward, this is how you're gonna control braking and power. So if you lean forward, you're gonna be moving forward. If you lean back, you'll be braking or going backwards. So if we take a quick look at this unicycle, you'll notice that as soon as I power it on, it's gonna stabilize. So it won't let me actually tilt the unicycle forward or backward. However, side to side is not stabilized. So if I turn it off, you can see how the unicycle will tilt forward or backward. So when you're riding this thing, you don't have to worry about forward or backward balance, but you will have to worry about side to side balance. So it's exactly like riding a bicycle. So I know a lot of you are probably gonna be wondering how long it takes to learn how to ride one of these things. And for me, it took about three hours. And I'm not that coordinated of a person. So if I can do it in three hours, I'm sure you can do it in two. And I'm not just saying that because this company sent me one of these things. I literally am in love with this Solar Wheel Glide 3. I don't touch my car anymore, at least if I don't have to bring a ton of gear with me to, let's say, a meeting or to a shoot. I really want to just stick with something simple like this. And especially if you're living in an urban area where things are really close by, you can easily pack this up in your car, unload it, start it up, and go for a ride. You can use this easily as a replacement for your car. When I was riding in Santa Monica, I will tell you that a lot of people have been staring at me. I've gotten comments like, what the hell is that? Or, I want one. I've gotten stopped so many times asking me what this thing is. And that's because a lot of people don't know about this sort of tech. And this is going to be something for the masses very soon. So I do suggest that you check this out immediately. So let's talk a little bit about performance. I weighed 205 pounds and I was able to go up the steepest slopes or hills I was able to find in Los Angeles. And the best part is that when you go downhill or break, you regenerate power. So you're charging the battery when going downhill or braking. So that way you can even last a longer time on your ride. And the range for this thing per charge is about 30 miles. I was able to ride from Pacific Palisades to Santa Monica to Venice Beach to Playa del Rey to Marina del Rey to Third Street Promenade and then all the way back to Pacific Palisades. Now they do have several other versions of these kinds of unicycles available. They have a more powerful version called the V10F which is supposed to go up to 25 miles per hour and supply more than double the battery power and give you more than double the range. So I hope in the future to test that one as well because these things are just extremely addicting. I'm currently working on a tutorial on how to incorporate gimbal work while using this sort of vehicle, so stay tuned for that because the footage will look outstanding. This wheel also comes with a trolley handle so you can roll it around in areas where you can't really ride. You can also carry it. It weighs about 30 pounds. On the sides of the wheel, we have LED lights, we have a front headlight and a rear tail light. On the sides of the wheel, we have foldable foot platforms made out of aluminum and they are coated with grip tape. The power button is located on the front of the handle when we press it. A tone will play and you will see the current battery status right here. 
And on the back of the wheel, we have the charging port, which takes about four to four and a half hours to fully charge the battery. As you'll probably notice, I do have some scuffs and scratches. That's because I've fallen off a few times. But here's the thing, when you fall off, you practically always land on your feet. So I've fallen off this thing probably about 50 times and I've never scuffed up any of my hands or anything like that. I've always landed on my feet. But remember, you should still always wear protective gear like helmets and elbow pads and knee pads as well. We also have a protective cover here, especially for beginners. This is a great way to protect your wheel from being scuffed up. And great news is, is that everything on this wheel is user replaceable. So if you do scuff up the shell, it can be replaced. Also, the tire is 16 inches, so it is inflatable. It uses a tire tube, so if you do get a puncture, you can just replace the tire tube easily. If you'd like, I can make a tutorial on that. We also have a special compartment here that allows you to easily inflate the tire in case you're low on air. And as you can see here, if you just wanna set down the wheel, all you have to do is lean it forward and it should stay on its own. We also have a mobile app for this wheel so you can see all of your current statistics such as battery life, mileage, and power consumption. It's a great app that allows you to customize the wheel lights and it allows you to turn on and turn off the headlight. You can also wirelessly power down the wheel. All right guys, so that's my review on the Solo Wheel Glide 3. So far, this is an excellent unicycle. It's my first electric unicycle and I can't wait to see what the future holds from now on. This thing is definitely a great gateway into me loving electric unicycles. And by the way, for those of you who are interested in the Solo Wheel Glide 3, if you use my code in the description box below, you can get 10% off your order. So go ahead and check out the link for the Solo Wheel along with the code in the description box below. And as always guys, I can't wait to see what you create. And also guys, stay tuned for my tutorial on how I incorporate an electric unicycle with a gimbal because the footage you'll get, I'm sure, is going to be outstanding. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends, and I can't wait to see what you create. I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.